So the before and after, um, which I did, oh, pieces of dirt here, before and after people were asking about. And so this is after on this bathroom, um, the 12 by 24 on the floor staggered. This is, looks like marble, but it's not. This is porcelain, very, very hard, durable porcelain uh, with transition strip at the front and new vanity that I put in, plumbed in the faucet and all that stuff and new low flow toilet and there is the finished product so as i said before um, the guy can didn't really know what he was doing with this tile it has to be in order not to have lippage the tile has to be set with plastic spacers so that it'll push down on each other and you only do a couple of rows and you let those dry before you work your way up to the top because there's a lot a lot of weight on these walls so there's no lippage on this whatsoever, and um, it's the small grout lines that the customer wanted. And then including the niche, so what I did on the niche, um, the way the guy had it set up before, he had, a, he had his line, which I thought was very good of all the things he messed up. He still had ran his line straight into the niche and had the top piece cut, if you recall. And so what I did is I just took one of these pieces and I don't know the lighting is kind of bad in here, but I cut it on a diagonal and I set it in there with the little triangular pieces on the tops and bottoms. So I thought that was a better plan than to try and have that line up there. And then uh, as I always do, I framed it out with bullnose. So the bullnose wraps around the niche and gives it a framed effect. Have the new uh, fixture in there. Rectified that so that all the scushion pieces would fit on there new tub spout and um, of course a new tub which I didn't do. So on the edges here I did transition strip and the transition strip remember he tried to do in here as well as out there but you know the tile bumps out when you have a, a thick tile that's on these walls this house was built in 1978 so the walls aren't flat and because they're not flat you have to uh, you have to uh, travel out your thin set both on the wall and the tile so when you do that you have a bump out that's going to be probably a quarter of an inch or better in some cases so that quarter of an inch you're going to see on the wall right here but then you run a bit of caulking down it and when they painted they could have just painted the caulking and it would look like it flowed uh, so the transition strip um, got put on there on both sides although i don't know why they used the dark one because nothing else in here is dark but um it is what it is so but you know it looks very nice as i said there's no lippage on this tile and um put the baseboard in quarter round, used a larger baseboard. There was a lot of um, sheetrock damage when they took out all the tile that was on here. So in order to hide all that sheetrock damage, we used a larger baseboard and quarter round. And it's done. So that's the end of this job. But you know, it did turn out nice. And um, both bathrooms, as I said, uh, together took me about eight days. I think he, either eight or nine um, by myself. So anyway, on to the next job.